Uh, haven't really thought about that. I think we've been so focused on on taking each game as it comes, <clears throat> and you know I felt tonight we, we did everything to to get the win. I think we're a little bit uh, subdued in the, the change room again, really chasing that that 80 minute performance. Uh, we felt times we we lacked that ball control that we've been striving for, and also that. Uh, ball control that leads to pressure on ourselves. But of course we're thrilled to, to come away with that bonus point win um, and to do that on such an iconic ground. So I'm really thrilled for the players. Fantastic uh, experience for them and one that I'm sure they'll, they'll remember for a long time. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, our bench, our finish has been really good this year. You know, we'll utmost trust and faith in them that they come on and do a job. You know. They've shown that and proven that, and then you know, get back in. Michael, was it um, feeling like getting into that last quarter? Did you always have confidence that you have the lead in uh, Yeah, I've been like I echo what Daryl said. Our finishes have been great. I was a little bit concerned. We started to have a couple of guys go down there, and you know, a bit sore, and it was because it was a really physical game. Uh, the Reds. Brought what we expected in big carries throughout the game's entirety. So um, happy, happy we were able to get there and you know run them for the full 80 and, and get a bonus point, I believe. Yeah. How much confidence do you get out of getting a win like that, but still having so much work? Yeah, it's a really pleasing aspect um, within that negative, not being able to finish our passes, like. I think there would have been two or three tries that we just would have ran in under the sticks. Real pleasing thing is we're able to come back from that. That can sometimes get you down when you create a really nice opportunity, um, turn it over, and sometimes we turn it over and the Reds just started galloping away. Um, and then able to come back into it, uh, refocus was, was a really pleasing aspect out of that negative. Yes. Um, an attitude. There's a good attitude to see that as an opportunity, not a not a negative. S try and control that part of uh, the game in the energy um, that energy side of things. I think um, you know Lions have been very good at that in uh, in years gone by. So they're our next next person ahead, and we've got to we've got to keep on it. Yeah, that's right. I think he's you know, continuing to, to be the difference for us out on that, that left flank. Uh, you know, when we give him the ball in, in the right moments with a little bit of space, uh, he's, he's finishing well. So, I'm really pleased for him. You know, we'll talk about it a lot during the week. You know, he's lost his weight, he's performing. It's a pretty equal, pretty easy equation for me. Completely different. You know, it's going to require a, a different. Uh, way way to win the game against um, the Lions. So they've got strengths uh, in different areas. So we're going to have to be really clever in how we play them. Yeah, I am. Um, get to face them at home. Uh, we've been really strong at home this year so far, um, and they're a good team. You know, they they've got big guys, and they're able to move the ball around. Um, you know, best out of the South African team. So. Expecting a huge challenge next week, and with our short turnaround, we've got to get our stuff right. Uh, something that we've we've been focusing on is, I know you guys heard it all the time, is week to week, and that's that's been um, you know really really positive for us to be able to focus on the day to day, who's ahead of us this weekend, and now with. Um, you know, I starting to get a bit of a, a trot on. There's, that's more important than ever. You can't, you can't look around. You can't um, seek taps on the back. We've got to, we've got to keep to what's been working for us and um, see where that, see where that lands us. Our first half of the, the year, um, we've come through the tough, tough part of the year. I reckon we've had all our travel. Uh, we've only had three home games, including this one, uh, and I'm really pleased for the team, showing some really resilience in times, uh, contending with all that travel, um, 
<coughs> and our opponents. So I'm thrilled for the team. Uh, it's excellent momentum. Uh, carrying into you know, what looms as our biggest challenge to date against the Lions. Yeah, we've got a we we've got a uh, some walking wounded there. You know, it was a physical game. Uh, a few bumps and bruises. Hopefully, uh, not too bad. Um, Rob Simmons you know, came off with uh, what looked like a sternum. Wells shoulder, uh, Miller shoulder. Uh, so we're running out of re reserves there for a bit. Yeah. Not sure at this stage to, to tell, but um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't impact us too much. Uh, yeah, we're building. You know, one of the things we've said we're going to go game by game. And we're going to improve uh, to get our level of performance to to a point where we can compete uh, with the best teams in this competition, and that's what we're striving for. And that's why we're probably a little bit. Uh, while we're winning, um, we realise our our expectations of ourselves are a lot higher than what we're we were putting the bar for ourselves this year.